in Sierra Leone during the Civil War. I was in a jeep with some government soldiers. I mean, they were just kids. They had no idea what they were doing. And we ran into a, a rebel ambush. You know, these guys stepped out of the jungle and stopped our jeep. And it looked like they were going to kill everybody. You know, I spent 10, 15 minutes or so not knowing what was going to happen and trying to prepare myself to die. And obviously they didn't. That experience altered me permanently. It was way, way harder than combat. Combat's nothing. You're not powerless in combat. You can make decisions, you can do things. I was in the back of a pickup truck with a couple of other journalists and some terrified soldiers uh, with belt-fed machine guns shoved in our faces and they were arguing about whether to shoot us. And you're totally powerless. And the only way to survive that psychologically, ironically, is to sort of try to convince yourself to sort of give up your desire to survive. I mean, you have to kind of let go of life and just say whatever's going to happen is going to happen. And uh, it's a very, very hard thing to do. And, and I've only done it a few times in my life. And when you, when you give up on life for a little while, when you try to let go of wanting to live because you think you might not, um, you know, it really leaves a mark.